you've been raised. Let's head over to our families. <laughs> Hi everyone, we're the Gonzalez family and we're here on The Amazing Race. We sell newspapers on the black market. We buy them from the government and sell them at a higher price. We're on the show so we can make a little bit of extra money. Are you guys serious? Hi, we're the Hernandez family, and I used to be a mechanical engineer, and my husband used to be in Cuba with us, but because my mother is so sick, he moved to the U.S., and I decided to become a private hairstylist in order to pay for all of her medical expenses. Estoy enferma. I went to medical school, so I got my uh, degree to be a doctor, but I'm a taxi driver now because it pays triple, um, and I'm just trying to support uh, while my dad's in the U.S., I'm sending money back to us. I'm in school. ¿Dónde está mi papá? Hi, Hi, we're, we're the, the Martinez, Martinez family. family. I'm John. I'm a soldier. I make $20 a month. I'm Maggie. I got my medical degree and I'm a doctor here in Cuba for $20 a month. Hi, I'm Sydney. I went to culinary school and I work as a chef at a local Cuban restaurant for $28 a month. And I'm Becca and I'm the architect of Sydney's restaurant and I make $28 a month. Together we live in a single bedroom apartment for $73 a month. But we love being close-knit family. That's and what Cuba's all about! about. Woo! Hello everyone and welcome to the finish line of the final Cuban Amazing Race. Let's see who's coming down the road. Stop. Here comes the Gonzalez family, very close. Whoa, 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 you guys are disqualified. Can we buy a newspaper? One dollar. Sure. This seems a little weird, right? Well, it is. Even though the Gonzalez family came in a clear first place, it's impossible for them to really come in first place when they could get thrown in jail at any time for selling newspapers illegally on the black market. Sure, the Martinez family came in second, but when they're getting paid below what they should be for jobs they're really skilled for, are they really winning? And absolutely, the Hernandez family came in last place, but they're lucky enough to have someone in the U.S. helping them with money, and when you can work for three times as much as a taxi driver over a doctor, you're doing pretty well. They're the true clear winners. While these are made of examples, these are the three most popular last names in Cuba, so chances are someone with that last name has had a very similar experience. Yeah, it's a race, all right, but... I just don't know how amazing it can really be.